Hello, welcome back to the channel. Long time to see me. But today I, I have a very interesting job and I thought I would share this with you. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, an old uh, vinyl player here. This is an all-time classic Technics SL1200 MK2 model. And this one uh, has this uh, common fault, I would say. Uh, when you just turn the switch on, what it does is start spinning by itself at a really high speed and you cannot turn it off or choose the speed uh, button here. You can actually do nothing. It spins by itself all the time. So you have to turn it off and slow it down with your finger in order to stop. And that's the problem. Uh, I'm going to open up the, the case here. I'm going to take the platter off to reveal the PCB board and we'll take a look at it to see what's going on with it. All right, so stay with me and we will continue the, the disassembly. All right, and one, I don't know if you can see this, let me show you with a microscope. All right, okay. Uh, there is a transistor here, this one, which if you can see, it moves a little bit freely. This is a very common fault, this transistor, the, the I think it's noted as Q201, as you can see here, Q201. This is a very common fault with this device. There are, are cold shoulders underneath, so it moves. So this transistor actually doesn't make a good contact with the PCB board. So we, we are going to take out the PCB board. We have to remove, this is the transistor, it's actually uh, above this connector, this is the transistor. We have to take out the whole PCB board and check the solderings underneath. So let's do it. We have to unscrew these screws here. And first I think we need to unscrew this one in order to remove. This plastic, this plastic ring that holds the, the motor here. I'm moving the transistor from the other side and the pins move so this is a cold joint here so we need to fix it that's an easy job so we need some flux and some fresh solder and we will touch up again these pins Now, as you can see, there's no movement here. All right, I think we're finished. Let me assemble back 
the platter and everything to the board. So we need to turn this this way. Yeah, there's a problem. I forgot to put the motor. <laughs> Without the motor, we don't have a vinyl player. So the motor goes, yeah, there is, I don't know if you can see that, there is a notch here on the platter, let me show you. Actually, this, there is a notch here that goes on this metal thing here. So there's no way to put the motor on the wrong way here. Right, so you have to put it like this. Let's move the cables out of the way. Careful with this cable in order not to catch up with this screw. Alright, this is tight. We don't need any vibrations for the motor, so make sure the screws are fully tightened. moment to get another screwdriver because this one is not making a good fit. Let's switch it on now. Great. Now it doesn't spin. We can change the speed here. And if we press start, it starts. If we press stop, it stops. So, uh, this Technics uh, 1200 MK2 is fixed. It was an easy fix. It's a very common problem, this transistor, to have cold solder underneath so if you have the same problem just first check this transistor so thank you for watching see you on the next one bye